thing with my YouTube, but hopefully that fixes. Um, we are going to do chest, abs, and back because uh, it's a solid workout. It's an area that most people don't think to work out. People think upper body, lower body, abs, that's it. Uh, we are going to get it all in. It's 30 minutes. We're going to start to warm up, jog it out. When you're warming up, you never want to stretch too hard. Your muscles are cold. Uh, they don't know what's happening. They're probably not super happy about what you're about to do to them. Uh, so you just have to ease them in gently. I want to stretch my legs out because I'm sore, which is great. And then I also, uh, you need to always stretch. If you join late, do not skip the warm up. Grab your wrist. You're pulling very gently to one side. Then to the other, yeah, don't ju jump on late and be like, oh, forget it, she's already started, I'm not gonna warm up. Hook one arm around the other. That is a very bad idea. That leads to injury. Put your palms together, push them towards me, round your back, then extend up. We're gonna have to make it colder in here, I'm already hot. Are you? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna also turn these lights down a tiny bit, a little bright in my face. Okay, we are good, we're gonna get it started. If you have injury, surgeries, anything like that, stop. Check with your doctor because you do not want to exacerbate uh, a problem that you already have. Okay, we are going to do a tricky chest press. I finally had to get him his own back because he always gave me the mat, and then he was on a towel, and that's just not as comfortable. Okay, so you're going to go heavier. We need to get uh, 15 pound weights. Okay, so we are going to do a tricky chest press. You are on the ground. You're going to press all the way up above your chest, not above your face. Come down, go back up, and then all the way down. Okay? One minute. Let's do it. You guys can start. Okay, so press up above your chest, come down about a third of the way, press all the way back up and all the way down. Do not let your arms rest on the ground when they come up. Oh, that feels so much better. That cold air. Now, if you are not working really hard by now, your weights are not heavy enough. So what does that mean? That means you should go up and weight. Uh, if you can, if you have them, if you don't have them, it might be time to get them. You can go a lot heavier with a chest press than you can, say, a fly. We're doing great. Keep going. We have 10 seconds. You take a break when you need to. Three to four seconds, and then get back into it. If you need a few breaks, that's fine, because you're working hard. Two one, done. Awesome. Let us go right into our next step, which is around. Uh, I'm going to get you an eight and a five. Okay. Get myself a five. So with an around the world, you're going to sit with your uh, legs straight and your body straight. And I want you to go back and around. So when you lean, you're going to lean to the side and back around to the front. Don't go too heavy with this, but push yourself. Uh, I love getting this big rotation. I love getting the, working the entire trunk. Oh, are we going? Oh, I thought you were <laughs> still like showing us what we're doing. <laughs> You're just gonna watch. Uh, maybe, <laughs> just making sure. Oh, so squeeze as hard as you can. If at any point you need a lighter weight, you pick up that lighter weight. You want to squeeze, and that is how you keep control. If this hurts your back, sit up, bend your knees, and just do it, keeping your upper body straight. If you have lower back issues, this will not feel good, so I don't want you to do anything that hurts. You just modify until it works for you. Squeeze, three, two, one, done. I think somebody said, hello. 
Oh, Sherry, we do make a good team. That is for sure. Sherry is one of my big supporters. Okay, the next one that we're gonna do, up off our feet. You need light weights, you can use fives or eights. I'm gonna use my lighter ones. We are gonna do a swimmer's crawl, then we'll take a break. <clears throat> so with a swimmer's crawl, hinge over at your waist. And pretend like you're swimming through a pool. Squeeze your back as hard as you can. You want to keep your upper body as still as possible. You're really only moving your arms. You are squeezing your back to control this motion. You're squeezing your abs to keep you stable. I don't want you rotating out. That is no bueno. So... We always want good form. I don't care how fast you go. I don't care if you take a bunch of breaks. I care that you have good form because that is how we prevent injury and get the most benefit from the workout. Bad form uh, is just no good all the way around. So if you need to drop to a lighter weight, do it. Once your form starts to falter, you go lighter. Squeeze. Three, two, one, done. Now we can take a break. Did I miss somebody or did I get everybody? Okay. Have some water. Now, I always tell you that when you drink water, don't guzzle a bunch of water while you're working out. It's just not a good idea. I prefer smaller sips. And you need to remember to make sure after that you, uh, you get a lot of water after the workout. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a balancing push-up. Super challenging. Hold on, someone's saying hello. Oh, you're coming to Nashville. I'll read that after because that was a long Okay, so we're going to get down. We're going to do a balancing push-up. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to have to put your feet further apart. You're going to lower down, come up, lift one arm and one leg. You really have to squeeze your back to get that arm up, but your whole body's going to be tight. If you're on your knees, you're on your knees, but you're not on your kneecap. You're right above your knees. Okay, so we're going to do these for one minute. These are going to kick your butt. Do not get discouraged. Take a break when you need to. Lower yourself down as far as you can go. Lift one leg and one arm. You really want to squeeze so you're not rushing through these. I care more about your form and you really squeezing to get that arm up than I do about how many of these you do. So if you're doing the modified, when you go down, you're just going to do the same exact thing. Squeeze. When you need a break, you take it three to four seconds. No shame in that at all. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Go back into child's pose. Stretch those fingers as far out as they'll go. That is one of the hardest things that we will do here at ViscoFit. So if you tried one and you're like, yeah, no, not happening, you will build up. I promise. You will not build up if you only work out with me once a month. If you work out with me a few times a week, you will get there. I promise. Okay. Next one we're going to do. You're going to lay on your back. So with this one, you are going to raise your legs up. You're going to lower them, and then you're going to open and close. I'm going to move over so I don't hit you. Okay, ready? Squeeze up, squeeze down, squeeze open, squeeze closed. Do not let your legs hit the ground. I'm so happy you turned the air on. 
it does feel better. It does feel better. It's really cold too. Squeeze up. You have to squeeze on the way down because you want your legs to lower slowly. You don't let them flop to the ground. Everything we do is slow and controlled. And do not hold your breath. It's going to be hard keeping your breath totally even during these, but do not hold your breath. Very bad. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Done. That's hard. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hi. We're still here with you. Okay, so we're gonna work our back again. So what we are going to do, you're going to take a light weight. You're going to get on all fours. You're going to lift in front of you, then out to the side. Your back, uh, you will feel this in your shoulder blades for sure. You will also feel this in your shoulder. Um, Slow and controlled. You have got to keep your entire core tight. Doesn't matter what we're working. This is the center of your power. You keep it tight, you're gonna have good form, prevent injury, and you'll strengthen and define it in the process. So, what are you gonna go with, fives? Yeah, so. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna do 45 seconds on each side. So to the front, to the side. You keep your body facing the ground, all movement is powered by your back muscles. Are your abs tight? That is so important. You've got this, come on, don't quit. Switch. If you are starting to fling your arm to get it up instead of squeezing, that is bad. I want you to drop down to a lower weight or drop completely. You can finish these exercises with no weight. You just keep squeezing those muscles. You're still gonna be working hard. Don't let your body start to rotate out. It's going to want to as you get more fatigued because it's going to want to assist your muscles. So if you're gonna wanna go like that, don't do it. Two, one, done. Okay, now we can have some water. That feels good, right? Yeah, that's good. Although that always hurts my neck. Does it? Criminal injury. So I, oh, I well, don't. see. So Dave's saying there are certain exercises he has an old injury it can hurt. Now there's hurt, and then there's pain. Where we don't want pain. You might feel I have an old injury in my wrist. So there are certain exercises that I do that I can feel it. Sort of, I can feel the nerves uh, twitching. I can feel a little discomfort, but I know it's nothing because I've had it for so long. So you have to listen to your body. Okay, next set of exercises. <sighs> okay. The first one that we are going to do is a T-fly. So with a T-fly, you're gonna Open up into a fly, and then you're going to lower towards your hips. When you lower towards your hips, lots of control. You're going to need your abs to assist you. If you let those weights come down too fast, they're going to hit you in your hip bone. And I've done it. I don't recommend it. You want to go light because you're doing the fly. So I'm going to go with fives. Dave's going to go start with tens and then drop down to eights if he needs them. <laughs> You always want to start heavier, even if you only do two reps with the heavier weight before you drop down, that's okay. You always want to start heavier 
challenge yourself. You're not like surgically attached to the weights. You can drop them and go lower anytime. So that was why I gently encouraged him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Open into a fly. Squeeze your chest to close. Squeeze your chest to lower. You are going to feel your abs assisting you in a huge way. So slow and controlled is what we're all about. In any given week with my workouts, you should feel like you are worked head to toe. That is the goal. Uh, you will see a lot of people if you go to the gym, especially guys, no offense, who only work upper body. They're always on the weights or the machines working their upper body, and then they have teeny tiny little legs. So the whole point is you are supposed to have a comprehensive workout uh, every week. Two, one, done. You never want to concentrate on just one area or just one section of your body. Um, so you should sort of be overall sore. Okay, so now we're going to stand up. We're going to do a bent over row your bells. You can go heavier with this. I'm going to go eight. Dave's going to go tens. Hinge over at your waist. And you're going to squeeze up. Squeeze your back to bring those weights up. You've got to keep your abs tight. Squeeze your back when you raise and when you lower. It's all slow and controlled. If this is too easy for you, I'm going to go a little bit lighter on my other arm. Okay, I got all messed up with my pacing. Squeeze. Don't rush. Your body does not rotate out at all. It stays facing the ground. So again, you can go heavier with this. If you're having a super easy time, that is a signal to you that you can drop and go heavier, just like you can drop and go lower when you need to. Squeeze, three, two, one, done. I can tell you from experience, I used to hurt my back all the time. I would do something simple, I would twist to get something, I would bend over to scoop up one of my kids, I would tweak my back and be miserable for two or three weeks. Sometimes I did do physical therapy to get better. Uh, that never happens to me anymore, which I think is pretty impressive, especially yeah. given as much as I work out, I'm always doing stuff at home. I'm always lifting, stretching, bending, um, and I never have those problems anymore because I have a strong back. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to work our obliques. Obliques are just a problem area, mostly for women, but men too. You're going to lay on your side. Your bottom arm is in front. I would like you to get a light weight. And your, uh, your arm is behind your head. Do not pull on your neck. And you're going to squeeze. Uh, and we're going to do 45 seconds on each side. You can put your hand there to feel that muscle contracting, but you have to squeeze really hard. You also have to breathe, that's helpful. There is an instinct with every, pretty much every kind of ab exercise to hold your breath because you're squeezing really hard. You're really working at your optimum level, but it makes you want to hold your breath, so you can't do that. Three, two, one, done. Spin around. So if knees are stacked, bottom arm is in front, your hand is behind your head, you can hold a light weight. Touch your knee to your elbow. If you cannot get your knee all the way to your elbow, that's fine. You get as close as you can. Put your hand on your obliques. Squeeze. 
squeeze. I know the burn is there. Take a break when you need to, three to four seconds, but don't quit. That is not in our vocabulary any longer. Oh, done with that. Have some water. Okay. The next one that we are going to do is a bridge chest press. So you can go heavier with a press. We did a press before where we're doing it differently. Simply because it works a different area of the chest. Okay. So with this one, get your weights, drive up through your heels. You're gonna have to squeeze hamstrings, glutes, quads, abs, stay up. And press up over your chest. So again, your arms don't rest on the ground. You will feel this more in the upper part of your chest. Squeeze. If you, this is not challenging for you, you need to go up and wait. Are you okay over there? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, we need to get Dave heavier weights. He runs and bike rides and then works out with me sometimes, which is really fun. But we definitely don't have heavy enough weights for him for some of the exercises, the lower body stuff, and then like chest presses and when you need a break, take it, squeeze. You should be really, really working incredibly hard right now. If your form is starting to falter, you need to drop down. Three, two, one, done. Okay. Okay. The next one that we are going to do move these out of the way. You never want to uh, be in a position where you're sorry, we need our mats. Okay, so we're going to do a Superman uh, position where you're off the ground, okay? But you're actually going to work harder by keeping your legs on the ground and just raising your upper body. And that is going to be a lot of work for your back. It is going to be super challenging. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. And the whole goal is that you try to keep your feet on the ground. This is going to really work. You're on the ground. You're just squeezing right here in your lower back. Just up in the top. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, up if you have lower back issues, you'll be more comfortable lifting your feet as well. I do not have lower back issues. Thank goodness. Squeeze your back. I breathe in through, in through my nose on the way up. I exhale on the way down. This is not a big range of motion. Your feet are really going to want to come up off the ground. Don't let them. Two, one, done. So go into child's pose after that one and just stretch out your back. And then move your hands around to the side. Put your forehead on the ground. We like to stretch it out. Okay. What are we doing? 
next. Okay. You're going to get on the ground. You're going to get a weight. Can I have a five pound please? So you're going to lean back. Your feet are on the ground. I want you to touch that weight to one side and then the other. If you would like to increase the challenge, lift your feet up. Again, if you have lower back issues, you might not like that. Keep your feet down. Um, and you can just limit the turn. Limit the twist. We're doing really well on time. Okay, one minute. Remember, do not hold your breath. Keep your feet together. You do not have to use a weight. You can simply clasp your hands together also. Do not feel like you have to lift your feet just because we are. Squeeze. When you need a break, you sit up three to four seconds, but you do not quit. You finish the minute all the time. Even if you're by the end, drop the weight. You're, you can't go anymore. You finish those last few seconds. Are you going to talk to me after this? Not for an hour. An hour? Okay. Yeah. I can deal with that. Yeah. Well, if you make me do the starfish, then <laughs> four hours. If you guys have done the starfish, Dave legitimately gets angry with me. I do. When we do that, I still make him do it. Because I figure just like with him, with you guys, if you get mad at me, you're going to get over it. I shouldn't be so confident. <laughs> you, might okay. lose, you might lose all your followers. Oh, no. No, no, no. That would be so. Are there any other guys that work out out there? I feel like everyone who says hi is always a woman. Yeah, I have a couple. Oh. I have a couple. Okay. I have a. Uh... I mean, the funny thing is I do it and it kicks my butt. So it's like. You're like, oh, it's a girl workout. It'll be so, and then I'm like limping the rest of the day. See, so, it's hard. What we're doing is hard. Ladies, get your guys out here. I don't want to be the only one getting my butt kicked by Sean. So, <laughs> I think my friend Randolph does them sometimes. Okay, guys. What are we doing? The next one that we are doing, we are going to go into a plank position. Okay. And when you're in this plank position, I want you to uh, separate your feet. You're going to rotate up. So this is back, chest, arms, core. It's the whole nine yards. It's a really good exercise. We still get that rotation in. So work hard. Okay, let's go. So your feet are spread. Twist to the side and up. <sighs> Gotta keep your breathing. When you need a break, take it three to four seconds. I don't care if you take four breaks. That is not what's important. That is not anything for you to get frustrated about. Stay positive. You're here. You've shown up. You're working hard. That's what matters. It's a lot easier to stay in bed or just be on social media wasting a half an hour of your life and accomplishing nothing except knowing what people are eating for breakfast. So <laughs> I think you're much better off doing this with us. Three. Two, one, done. Oh my gosh, so good. So good, okay. Get on your back. We're going to finish this out by doing crunches. This is the last thing. Yep, proper way to do a crunch. Your hands are lightly behind your head. Squeeze up and release. Your face is up towards the sky. Do not pull your head towards your knees. 
Squeeze and hold for a couple beats. Do not hold your breath. Squeeze. You guys got this, come on. And we'll do a quick little cool down and we can all go on with our day feeling great. Knowing that we accomplished something, then you don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. It's so awesome. And you feel good. All right, raise up. I'm so sweaty. Okay, stretch those obliques. Oh. Put your palms together, lace your fingers, push your palms towards me. And raise up. Oh my gosh. Place your fingers behind your back. And I want you to raise up. Stretch your chest out. Oh my gosh, feels so good. Get on to all fours. And you want to round your back. And then arch your back. Round your back. Arch your back. Oh, feels so good. Lean to one side. Give yourself some hugs. And you're done. That is it. That was good. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad we did that. Yeah. And I'm glad we did it inside. It was getting a little too sunny. That's my problem with working out later is that the sun is coming out. It's just too hot for me. Uh, tomorrow morning. I, yeah. I think I'm going to make him go honky talking tonight. We may not want to commit. I think we're not going to commit. That's what I think. Because I will be on uh, Monday morning. We're going to play it by ear. Because generally honky-tonking on a Saturday night does not equal working out on Sunday morning. Generally. Generally, generally speaking. speaking. At least the way we go out. So yeah. have a great day. Beautiful day. If you need any encouragement, support, if you have questions, if you need to know what equipment to get, if you are going to buy heavier weights and you're not sure which ones to buy, let me know. Okay? Bye. That was so good. That was good, baby.